I found a really easy way to repair 3D prints using the cheap 3D pens off eBay. This particular one was uh, 18 bucks and that included shipping. And it does have a uh, little port you can lift here. And using a small screwdriver you can adjust the temperature when you get them. They're set for ABS but you can turn it down to PLA temps. But I was doing some prints on my uh, Alpha Rama robots getting ready for bot stock 13 here at the end of April. And uh, when I'm printing the legs that hold the two servos, that's about a four and a half hour print. And when it got all the way done to the very bottom, I found on, on one of these robots that the uh, joint where the screw goes in at the very bottom didn't print. That part was messed up. Not wanting to throw away four and a half hours, I said, what the heck, I'll load the same plastic into this little pen and see if you can build it up. And sure enough, just like if the 3D printer had uh, printed it that way, you can sit there and you can build back up missing places, or if you crack or break thing, you can build it back up. So as far as being a repair tool for 3D printed parts, I consider this an essential part of the uh, kit to have around. That uh, just put in the same plastic that you're printing your parts with and you're all set to go. If you haven't seen these biped robots walking around, you can go to my YouTube channel, The Robot Hut, and uh, let's see, let's click on right there. That would be the first two of the biped robots showing how they walk and everything. Anyway, there you go. Get yourself a 3D pen. Let the kids play with it, and when they're not playing with it, you can use it to repair your uh, 3D printed parts.